Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi. So today I have something which all of you know. I was like really waiting for this and I was supposed to save up and uh, buy it or uh, buy it from my next salary. But then uh, I did some odd jobs and I got paid and then I bought this perfume collection. Ah, I have the entire al Main La Vencha collection. I want to show you what I don't want to like. Uh, it's still too heavy. So it opens up like that. Then it has this velvet cover. This one. And then it has like all four the important ones. I know that there are a few for men as well. But this one has the rose one which I wanted in a collection. And thank God that they revised their uh, collection. And then they have like the four <laughs> which i wanted <laughs> so obviously i'm like super excited about this video because like all of y'all knew that i wanted to make uh, a middle eastern perfume video for summer and i was just waiting for this collection to arrive so that i can review it and then i can add them in the summer fragrances as well this uh, range got a lot of love and hate and it was pretty controversial because people were comparing it to creed and i personally do not like comparing uh, everything to Creed. Yes, it does smell like that, but there's this accord in uh, fragrances called uh, sh uh, Shipper. I'll put it over here and it's like the pronunciation is sheep or something and I'll just call it Shipper. So like that like is a combination of like jasmine, bergamot, like there's a couple of note structure and since all of those like are there in most of the summer perfumes or citrus perfumes, like everything tends to sell, uh, smell similar. So I don't want to like say this is like a dupe for Creed Aventus or Creed Aventus Ha. Huh? Let me start without like, let me just, you know. So the first one is the one which is, uh, was supposed to be for men, but uh, everyone wears it and it's uh, considered to be unisex. This one is called just Al Haramain La Venture. There's no home written on it or femme written on it, which means it's like a unisex perfume. Now, this is classified as a shipper fruity. So it has all those shipper notes, but then it also has fruity notes. And in combination, all of this makes it hell of a perfume because it is rated 4.25, which is a lot on Fragrantica. And rightfully so. This perfume is gorgeous. It is like perfection for summer. Like everybody needs to have this. This smells like the old school cologne. And it has some woodiness and like a little bit of like earthiness and everything, which is why it's a cheaper perfume and that's why it changes. Like it's not just the cologne smell. The opening is very cologne and then it starts like becoming like a much more, uh, com uh, not complicated, but sophisticated perfume. So this was launched in 2016 and it's compared to Creed Aventus. And it's uh, also compared to Club de Nuit Intense Man. Now, I don't have this uh, Club de, de Nuit Intense Man. But if it smells anything like this, I will get it for Ali because he enjoys this kind of, uh, sorry, perfumes in uh, summer. This thing happens to me every time I smell uh, citrus, you know. So this one has the top notes of lemon, bergamot and elemi. Middle notes of woody notes, jasmine and lily of the valley. And the base notes are musk, patchouli and amber. And that earthiness is coming from patchouli so it's like the dirt patchouli but don't think of it as dirty patchouli i'm calling it the dirt patchouli because it smells like dry earth you know and it's very beautiful and i think that patchouli and the elemi musk amber everything makes it a little more inclined towards masculine notes but in all honesty i would wear this i would wear this I would not consider this as a man's fragrance although yeah it's like for some women this might be because the, the flowers are not really predominant you know it is more uh, predominant with uh, woody notes and the bergamot and I don't know I'm getting some spices also but there are no spices listed over here so apparently this whole line is like supposed to be from the Creed Aventus family but I am just not going to compare this to that I'm just going to tell you on its own what I smell like this is not sweet this is more woody it is more citrus it's more foresty like imagine the forest earth with like lemony colony fragrances and then the wood and the wood is like not dried wood this is like the wood which is like still uh supple you know the bark which is like still supple summer perfumes all in all normally do not last long but then this one has the base notes of 
amber and musk which might give it some longevity and i did like keep it on for my on myself for a long time and it stayed for like six to eight hours which was like quite amazing for me and by the way if you're planning to buy this as a dupe for creed aventus you'll be disappointed because i don't think it was meant to be that it was supposed to be in the same dna which kind of makes sense if it's released in summer they all will have this kind of dna and by the way you can see the perfume from this little glass window doesn't it look like a james bond kind of like a building you know <laughs> or a science lab i don't know and now see i'm just smelling the wood the earth and muskiness and everything and initially that cologne thing is gone and now it's smelling a little bit more masculine to be honest with you but i would wear this like it is not like a perfume that's like spicy masculine you know or the jim bro type of perfume this is like a very uh, sophisticated man kind of perfume i would just give this perfume an 8 out of 10 longevity is like really longevity is very good uh, and ali liked it and i would love this on ali like although i think this should not be sprayed on clothes it should be sprayed on your skin just like you would spray uh, you would splash after shave or something it has that vibe you know with that nice woodiness and by the way the woody note is like really strong like so you really get like the wood wood you know and it smells very fresh and clean so the celebrity i'm gonna give this to is um david hi pierce is, it, is that his name niles from frasia <laughs> i'm gonna give this uh, niles just because it's very clean fresh woody like when you look at niles dressed up in the suit and everything you feel like he smells like this you know and by the way guys if you've not seen frasia i promise just start watching it just get through the first few episodes because the first few episode really throws off people but then once you start watching it like it's like oh my gosh you like kind of like start uh, you understand each character so much better and it's like uh, they're psychiatrists so like it's like <laughs> it's it's really good just go and see it it's really funny and you'll have a good time laughing so the next one is uh, La Venture Femme uh, this is again supposed to be a dupe for the Creed Aventus huh? although I don't think it is but uh, it's in the same fragrance family so like think the same woodiness and earthiness and everything and think of the jasmine flower and then think like with a lot of fruits in it so this is like a really fresh clean perfume but with fruits and these are the fruits that make your mouth water like a very sweet lemonade kind of uh, fruits this one didn't get a very high rating on fragrantica it got 3.95 and i wonder why you know i'm pretty sure everybody who rated these perfumes they were going for deep for creed aventus and then they were just disappointed because I don't know, how can you not like this perfume? It's so nice. Like, this is what you should wear in winter. Like, sorry, in summer. This perfume is like super fresh, fruity, stays for a long time, smells very pleasant. Comparison for this is Rasana by Rasasi. But guys, no, I have Rasana. Nothing like this. They're in the same like citrus family. But come on, everything that smells citrus is not the same. It's not Creed Aventus for her or, you know, Rasana. So definitely not Rasana. This is like, uh, it comes with the top notes of pineapple, blackcurrant, bergamot and wild berries. And it's exactly like, but the pineapple, it is not like the fresh pineapple. It's like a synthetic chewing gum kind of uh, pineapple. And then you have your blackcurrant and wild berries with bergamot. And again, these are the bubblegum kind of uh, uh, berries. And, but the bergamot is like the actual, actual bergamot. When you cut the bergamot open with a knife, you know, that fresh smell it's with that so it has those synthetic fruit smells but then it has the fresh uh, bergamot and it makes it like very beautiful the middle notes for this are cedar freesia and rose i can smell some florals but i do not i cannot identify it as rose of freesia which means it's very well blended and it's not dominating the fruit the uh, florals are not dominating so you are not really getting that rose rose and even if this is a rose this is not a pink rose or a red rose this is a different kind of rose you know but yes you get the cedar is the woodiness and then the base notes are musk sandalwood amber and vanilla come on perfection i think this perfume is fantastic and the skin under my nose is burning now because of the citruses but oh, i can't stop sniffing this perfume but it does smell like it has a little plasticky smell going on which sometimes when you open uh, old toys old plastic toys you used to get this smell in it and i get that little smell but i don't know what it is like my mom like you know when she used to bring toys for us and everything uh, when we were living in two different countries, she, she would come and visit us and we would look forward to her coming and then she would open her bag to give us our gifts and everything. 
and there's, there used to be this distinct smell from her um, luggage and it used to have like a lot of fancy soaps, toys, perfumes, nuts and everything and I don't know why but for some reason it reminds me of that and you know thanks to this collection I'm, I'm absolutely in love with um, citrus smells like the fresh smells uh, usually I normally go for very deep scents but thanks to Alharamen because they have like other perfumes as well I think this love started for me with uh, the two of us there's a perfume called the two of us and I liked it so much and now this one it does like remind me of you know when CK perfumes were in hype but it doesn't smell like of a specific CK perfume but if you remember that feeling when CK perfumes were like really popular and the first time you smell them you know that freshness and everything and you were like oh, what is this you know like now of course those CK perfumes are like at throwaway prices and nobody cares for them but think of those perfumes but like elevated so you feel like you've smelled this before but not quite and you will never be able to put your finger on it so it has that nostalgic thing going on of like cologne and everything but it is so beautiful i love this perfume i'm gonna wear this perfume a lot a lot and i know that the prices for this are reducing because for some odd reason it did not do well so take advantage of that this entire set of four perfumes and it has an atomizer in the center uh it cost me 500 dirhams which means it's like 175 dollars 170 dollars so it's not that bad and they all are like i think 60 no not 60 but i think it's 75 ml or 100 ml i'm not sure Oh my gosh, like I can't stop smelling this perfume. It's like, how in the world did this get 3.95 on uh, Fragrantica? I'm sorry, but this perfume is a 10 out of 10 for me. Like, I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. This is probably my favorite fresh perfume till date. And this is targeted for women, but I think men can like uh, get away with it. And for season, this is a summer perfume and daytime for sure. But you can carry this off in spring as well. But autumn and winter, not so much. And for celebrity, think Zendaya in a black suit with short, her curly thing, like a very classy lady, but I just feel that she smells fresh. She doesn't smell rosy or fruity or she smells like citrusy, woody, fresh. And I'm going to give this to her. The next one is called La Venture Gold. And of course, because it has like the whole bottle is like absolutely gold. It's stunning. Now this perfume goes in a different direction. While the first two were extremely citrusy and very fresh, this smells a little bit lotion-y. Let me tell you, it smells like Jador or Burberry... What was it called? Burberry Body. This just smells to me like a very beautiful floral lotion. This is placed in the category of floral woody musk. And on Fragrantica, it's got only 3.85. And I think it's got 3.85 because it smells a little vintage. Like, for me, this is smelling like Jador. I have not smelled Jador in a very long time. And I remember the first time I smelled it, I hated it so much. I was really young back then when I smelled it. I think I was 21, 22. And when I smelled it, I was like, mm -mm. you know, like it was just so heavy. And I'm pretty sure I smelled it in summer. I didn't like it. It was jasmine heavy. It was uh, creamy, like very lotion. And it, that just heaviness did not like go well with my mood that day or something. And then for some reason, I never approached it again. So this has the top notes. By the way, this one was launched in 2022. The top notes are bergamot, blackcurrants and green leaves. The middle notes are plum, jasmine, rose, lily of the valley and orchid. And I absolutely agree. It is plummy. Like the overripe plum, the jasmine, rose, lily of the valley, orchid, everything is there like very like together. But the jasmine is the one that's dominating along with the plum. So it's like a plummy jasmine, slightly citrus. And the base notes are like your proper vanilla musk and sandal, which, which gives you the lotiony kind of vibe. But you know what? Like, I like it. I will wear it. I will wear it. This is like a very pretty, like... You're going to a park or a picnic or a brunch, you know, and you wear like a summer dress, like a very flowy summer dress, uh, like uh, with straps or something, you know, and your hair is open or tied in a ponytail. By the way, the Jador came in a new formula, which is like the alcohol free. I think it's the, the base is water. I haven't tried that. And I'm like after smelling this and because this is compared to Jador, I want to try that now. And I want to see like, will I like that perfume? So I will wear this 
and I'll give it a try but I know I will reach for this in very specific scenarios this is definitely not going to be an office fragrance or going to the gym fragrance yeah I guess I would wear this at home like when I'm around Ali or just on my own it smells really nice but I feel in winter I'll be able to wear this outside because in winter this the blooms will be more blooming <laughs> although I know people say that like you should wear florals during summer but I feel this lotiony thing will only go in winter so I'm gonna pack this up so for me this is very feminine it's leaning feminine personified you know the longevity I would give this like six hours and like the musk is still there on your skin but it becomes like a floral musk and sandalwoody musk and um, the projection is around six feet uh, I'm like going to be a little bit like I'm gonna give this 7 out of 10 because I like it but I would not reach for this and since it has that vintagey thing going on the celebrity I would give this to because it's opulent uh, I would give this to the character of Cleopatra by Elizabeth Teller. Taylor Teller <laughs> sometimes I wonder what goes on in my brain you know uh, Elizabeth Taylor in uh, from uh, Cleopatra you know with her gold and that uh, turquoise makeup with the kohol and everything you know a lot of gold lavishness around her and everything like probably she takes bath in that milk water and everything with flowers <laughs> it smells like that you know <laughs> now the last one is uh, the new one the La Venture Rose uh, it's considered to be new but I think it was released at the same time as the gold and this one is an amber floral so this is supposed to be in the same uh, veins as uh, Montal Rose's Musk and some people are saying this smells very similar to the Mason Francis Courtejan's uh, A La Rose and A La Rose I've smelt it and it smells very beautiful but it is very vintage and this I would agree it smells like a vintage perfume this literally smells to me like rose and musk nothing else you know the top notes for this are rose citrus and red berries it has that citrusness and it has that red berry, I don't know, it smells like a drink. It smells like a very refreshing summer drink, but not a lemonade. <laughs> smells like a rose water kind of drink, you know. And the base notes are, uh, sorry, middle notes are rose and jasmine and the base notes are amber and musk. This is very romantic, but very elegant. This is definitely worn by a girly girl or a person who's very... Um, a, per a person who thinks she's a person of status you know there's rose water in my fridge and there's by the way in Middle East everybody's fridge has rose water it smells like rose water but you know that fresh rose water like from the fridge when it's cold and like sometimes you put it on your face to refresh yourself or you use it as a mist on your face this is like a super rose heavy fragrance so if you do not like rose don't buy it this is like literally tells you the name is saying La Venture Rose and you're in a like a garden of roses and they're all sorts of roses they're black rose red rose white rose yellow blue i don't know whichever color and variety it comes in all the roses are there and it's slightly cold so i'm assuming it's still like winter is ending and summer as is uh, sorry spring is starting and the blooms have just like come out this smells nice nothing to write home about it's very average definitely you've smelled it if you smell the rose water from in those bottles the clear rose water you know how this will smell like is it pretty yes it is it's very pretty like is it something I will wear on myself I think I would wear this more in the house and not outside because again it's a very romantic smell and I would not want to smell romantic in the office you know but this is definitely something I guess like Ali would like on me he does like rose but he doesn't like the, that cloying heavy red rose or abs rose absolute or something this smells like like a very light fresh rose but this will be a very good layering perfume like if you want to add that little Floral, floral <laughs> nuance to any other perfume like with like a uh, oud heavy perfume and then if you want to like just spring like spritz a few of these and make it a little fresher and lighter i think this would go really well i also think a combination of this one and the original la venture will go well let me just see because this has that woody thing going on with lots of citrus oh yes so if you want to make this guy a little more feminine you can use this along with it and it's giving it more rosiness and like yeah yeah yep yeah, i would wear this together it's very beautiful as a matter of fact anything citrus you'll add to this like uh, any citrus perfume it'll just elevate it it's very beautiful along with that one but the projection for this on its own is just like 
two feet. Uh, longevity, longevity is probably like five hours. And the rating I would give this would be a 6.5. And to be very generous, it would be seven. And the celebrity I would go for is uh, Kirsten Dunst, Kristen Dunst, what's her name? Is it Kristen Dunst or Kirsten Dunst? It's like the Spider-Man chick, Mary Jane, you know? Like it smells like her. Like she has like that beauty about her and she smells very uh, girly and she looks very girly, very soft and dainty and the, you know, the porcelain skin and very delicate features. But she looks like very delicate and this smells like her, I feel. And with this, it's something else. Like I love it. So yeah, I would give this seven. Yeah, let's put it as seven because as a layering perfume, this will be excellent. So the top favorite of mine for, from this collection is definitely her, the, sorry, La Venture Femme. The second is the La Venture Original. The third is the Rose and the, sorry, yeah, the Rose would be third and the last would be the Gold. But Gold is last just because it is uh, still summer and I don't think I'm going to get much, much use of it right now. But I think these two are going to finish really fast and this one with the rose especially is going to like, you know. <laughs> Have you tried any of these perfumes? Do you own any of these? And did you like them or did you not like them? If not, why did you not like them? And just tell me your whole experience with this because I think it's a very underrated collection, isn't it? Like I think it just did itself uh, negatively by associating it with uh, La Venture. Or however because they never claim to dupe any perfumes right so however and wherever this whole thing came about where they're duping perfume and people thinking and buying this perfume for the sake of it being a dupe you're gonna get disappointed no way no way so like yeah let's not compare them to any of the eleven sorry uh, creed aventus and think of them as perfume on their own and they're just so beautiful i love them i'm gonna keep wearing them i will repurchase them so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and i'm gonna do the summer perfumes finally after this one because <laughs> now i have opened all the perfumes and now i can actually i have a lot of new latafas and these latafas are meant for summer and they're not new latafas but they are like meant for summer so i finally got them as well and uh, i'll be not reviewing them separately but i'll add them as a summer fragrance and showcase them to you i hope you enjoyed yourself guys keep smiling stay happy and love one another and just be live in peace and let everybody else live in peace as well until next time bye